Um, I'm Adam Zarboni with Magics and North America, and we are here with Stephen Epstein, and he is going to talk to us a bit about what he does and how he does it. And he's wearing a lovely T-shirt today, and I, I can't—I have to say—it is it's amazing fashion center. Like I wouldn't be seen without it, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> so he's actually off to you were uh, tomorrow. You were flying out to to Los Angeles uh, for the Grammy Awards. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased to. Uh, very honored to be nominated for two Grammys uh, this year, uh, Classical Producer of the Year and, um, and Best Classical Album, which is uh, Leonard Bernstein's Mass that we did uh, in Baltimore with the Baltimore Symphony, Marin Alsop conducting, and Jubilin Sykes in the Celebrant role, which is the leading role of the, uh, of the piece. And you, and you were saying you don't have an acceptance speech ready for yourself, you're going to wing it. I'm going to wing it because uh, the, the competition is very steep and um, uh, I think I know who to thank, and that'll pretty much be it. Yeah. If, it, if, it if I'm so lucky. All right, that's, that's great. Um, so I just we just want to talk a bit about how you got into the business itself, and just sort of like because I mean it, you're one of the big names, and it's just like it'd be great to, to uh, know your story. Sure. Uh, well, I uh, uh, being a record producer was a dream that I had since I was about 14 years old. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm very fortunate to. Uh, have taken the correct road to uh, to to achieve uh, what I've achieved um, over the years. I've been producing records for about 35, 36 years. Uh, I started with CBS Masterworks in 1973, um, which eventually became Sony Classical in uh, I think it was 1990 or 1989. Uh, basically, the same company, and uh, worked straight uh, through those years as producer, uh, eventually becoming senior executive producer with the label, and producing all the, uh, the great artists that, uh, that, uh, that uh, was on and is on the Sony roster. Um, you know, because I always like hearing the, work, like the roster of greats you worked with that you know, you're particularly proud of. Is there anything that comes to mind that you, would, that you would sort of say, like, I really would love working with these people, or just everybody? Well, uh, you know, every you know, I'm lucky because I'm working with the cream of the crop. You know, mm -hmm. uh, anyone who's gotten uh, to uh, has gotten a recording contract with this label obviously uh, has the chops. You know, mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, to to make great music, um, uh, it, and they're at the top of their game, so to speak. Um, for me, uh, growing up um, in in Queens, New York, studying the violin. Uh, my uh, idol uh, was Isaac Stern, and um, uh, to think that I would be working with him uh, in the 1980s uh, to record him and to have this intimate kind of uh, give and take in a recording studio doing sessions with him, for me it was uh, literally a, a dream come true. So, um, so that, uh, that I have to say is certainly, and is certainly a high point of my career. But I mean, when you're working with the likes of Yo-Yo uh, Ma and Minton Marsalis and uh, Joshua Bell and um, all the great orchestras that I've been fortunate to work with and other great artists, you know, just too, too numerous to name, um, I consider myself extremely fortunate. Uh, but I mean, that's amazing that you had the, the ambition and the, 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 the drive and the actual direction that you had at 14. I mean, I think that's what it probably takes to get you work today. Well, uh, you know, I, um, my love for classical music, which when I first my first my, when I heard my first record, uh, uh, which was a Columbia, interestingly enough, uh, ten inch LP of uh, Mozart twenty first piano concerto, and from that moment on I was hooked. And uh, but I've also been interested over the years in technical gadgetry and building kits, building Heath kits, which unfortunately that company no longer exists as a kit building company. Um, and just to combine my my love of music and of technology. Um, this was the perfect, the perfect career career path to take. Um, so uh, I majored in music in college. Back when I was when I was going to college, they didn't have these wonderful programs that they have now at universities mm -hmm. in sound technology, such as the one at McGill in, uh, in Montreal. So um, so uh, I basically learned by doing. I bought a Rebox tape recorder, a Rebox tape machine, back in 1973, 72, and. Um, and some microphones and two mixers, uh, and went around recording um, concerts, and that's pretty much how I how I learned to uh, learn Minecraft. That's that's amazing. Um, speaking of te technology, 